Good day, everybody. Um, welcome to Mobile World Congress 2022. Uh, my name's Adrian from Subma. Uh, here with our amazing partners, David, the CTO of Nearby Computing, Sesc, who's a member of the CTO office of Intel, responsible for edge architecture deployments. Um, Charles from Lenovo, who's general manager and vice president of Telco and Edge Communications. And I'm here with Rahul, one of the senior program directors from Celnex. Great part of our activity is outdoor, and the conditions outdoor and indoor are quite different. This kind of technology could help us to achieve all these objectives that we have it when we deploy anything outdoor. Uh, be very quick in the deployment, has the good performance of the equipment in any kind of conditions, and obviously provide a continuous service with the SLAs that we have it with our customers. We are involved in several projects with smart cities, with road traffic authorities. So it's usually a challenge to place servers in the street, sometimes in difficult conditions. So it was all exciting for us to discover this uh, liquid cooling solutions from Submer. This type of technology is going to allow us to construct more complex systems with more high-end compute. And you know, look what's beyond what we have today, the, the restrictions that we have, thermals, power, and so on and so forth the green energy. Right. So how much we can reuse the heat, how much we can make systems more sustainable, that's very important from a design perspective. We were exploring different projects and we were finding the right candidates, so I think this um, technology is amazing. So it was a natural decision to, to go with you guys. We see a lot of the compute capability moving from the data center towards the edge location. The sustainable aspect is very important. Uh, there's a lot of compute capability requiring a lot of processor, but that is exponentially growing year over year. However, you cannot exponentially grow the power consumption at the same time. You need to do more compute capability with using less power. We don't want to end up with servers that are extremely loud, uh, disturbing the environment, uh, that are consuming a lot of energy. Therefore, technologies and innovations such as the one from Summer are quite interesting for edge computing because it allows us to bring edge computing closer to the users in smart cities, for example, without disturbing the environment which they operate. The, the great challenge probably with us is when we talk about connected vehicles, because then you need to deploy these kind of solutions in a high density uh, perspective, in a road where you don't have uh, very easy access to the power. And then you need to be very uh, smart on where and how to deploy this kind of equipment to provide this low latency, high resilience services that they needed. And this is for us one of the bits uh, in, that, in that way, you know, where we think that in the next years we will sell it, this kind of equipment very close to the road to provide these kind of services that needs this low latency and uh, be robust service. Well, I think that we want to have these things deployed everywhere, but I think we also explore other form factors, right? So what can we do within a street cabinets, within base stations, I think that, that cooling and thermals is something that will be a, a challenge everywhere, and we need to look beyond and see what new technologies we define together. Um, and from a sub perspective, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure working with you both in your, in your teams, and we thank you very much for being involved. And with that, uh, we'll let you go, and we'll wish you all a good day, and have a fantastic mobile world. Yep. Cool. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.